Have you ever spent hours and hours trying to find the right song or the right sound or the right sound effect for your video or your music? Me too. And I found the answer. Robots taught me. I want to share with you what they taught me on how to find the best sounds possible as fast as possible. Here we go. So the whole creative process is driven by decisions. Which song, what sound, where to put it, which cut to make. I have to choose thousands of different sound effects. I have to choose which instrument to make when I'm writing a song and then editing these videos, where to cut, Wait. where to add B-roll, things like that. So there's a million creative decisions when making anything. It takes a ton of time and it's always hard to find where you wanna go. So I have been on this quest to make my decision making better. One of my favorite books lately is Algorithms to Live By, The Computer Science of Human Decisions by Brian Christian and Tom Griffiths. They are psychology and cognitive neuroscience experts. I used things in that book to make me a better creator and make more things. And the best creators aren't known necessarily for their skill, they're known for their taste, what they can do within limitations. So what this book really uncovers is how to make those decisions in a very fast and efficient way when there's always more things to do, when the world keeps getting faster, somebody else keeps going viral. They go through a bunch of algorithms to make different types of decisions. They talk about the problems of having to train robots to make human-like decisions. And by robots, I mean AI. We've all seen how powerful chat GPT and things like that can be. This is kind of on the next level of making decisions, not just making content. So what I loved about that is they had scienced out all these crazy problems that we have, like when to park our car when it's busy, which apartment to choose, to keep swiping or not swiping, and when to stop on that perfect sound effect or that song, or just keep looking for a new one. My favorite quotes from the book are, we can hope to be fortunate, but we should strive to be wise. In other words, we can always hope to get lucky, but it's better to make good decisions. Hesitation and inaction are just as irrevocable as action. So when I'm waiting and trying to find the best sound, instead of trying to find more options, I know I just have to pick and it helps me work fast. So what I especially loved is how they discussed the optimal stopping problem and the explore exploit trade-off. Those are in like less technical terms. When should I keep looking for something? When should I choose something? And what I should do if I have to make that choice in a certain amount of time. There's a 37% rule. So if I have a time limitation, I should take the first 37% of time to just look at my options. And then I should use the rest of the time to pick which one works best for me and then just choose as soon as I find something that works. Because that 37% of time of research gave me the information I needed to make the best decision. So if something jumps out to you after that first 37% of time, go with it and feel good about it because that statistically is the best possible answer. Then the explore exploit trade-off takes that research into effect and then talks about how making the decision as fast as possible has the most benefit. So it's not necessarily finding the perfect fit, it's about finding a fit that works and then just moving faster because there's more benefit in moving fast, making more things than there is to sit around and think about it because it's a game of odds. The more times you have that bat, the more times you're gonna be able to hit a home run for your next sound effect, the next song, making that next edit. I especially like to lean on these insights from this book when I'm tired and I have to move fast. I know that if I am searching for like 30 seconds for a sound that works for me, after that 30 seconds is up, if I find one I like better, I should go with that one. And if not, go back and pick my favorite of the first few I tried. Not only has this helped me, I've been talking with some other friends who make a ton of music and videos, and they have stumbled onto this same formula for making more things better and faster. I have one friend who's written over 4,000 songs. When he sets out to write music, he just goes with the first option every time and makes that work. And then through time and taste, you just know that first option. And by using that muscle and strengthening that decision-making process, he has made thousands of songs. So I encourage you to do the same. I highly recommend this book. I really liked it. There's a bunch more in the book that has helped my creative process and has helped me make better decisions in life too. Don't wait till things are perfect. Just do what you can with what you have and keep making more cool things. So if you think that will save you a bunch of time, please click the like button and subscribe. And I'll be back with more of these little videos about ideas and creative process soon. And if you wanna just learn how to make money and make things faster, also subscribe because I interviewed a bunch of prolific creators about their streams of income and how they actually make money, the gear they use, and I look around their home studios for how they actually have things set up. Thanks for watching and we'll talk soon.